Hello everyone, my name is Simone Giampaolo and I come from a very small country in Europe uh, which is called Switzerland. The short film I presented at NIFTY 2011 is called Stone Hand and it's a stop motion animated short which presents the efforts of an Italian painter while he is intent on painting the mythical Stone Hand, the world famous prehistorical monument which is located in England. But as the painter doesn't look at it, something incredible happens. Stonehenge comes to life. Well, since I'm starting in England, last year I had the opportunity to visit the actual Stonehenge site and I was really inspired by it. After that visit I thought it would be great to make Stonehenge comes to life in an animated short and I've never seen something like this uh, no one has ever done it before so let's try it and so the concept behind Stonehenge was born Stonehenge was traditionally animated using uh, the stop motion technique which is just as an example it's the same one used for Wallace and Gromit or Nightmare Before Christmas. Characters and backgrounds are made out of simple cutout papers. The animation process, process consists of taking a series of pictures for every small movement of the characters in order to give that illusion, that impression of movement. Well, yes, the little Stonehenge character just didn't want to stop dancing and moving around, so it was really hard to work with it. <laughs> no, just, just kidding. Uh, the main difficulty stop motion animators can meet with is running out of patience, because animating in stop motion is a very long and tiring process. process. But at the end, the result is almost always worth it. Stonehand took more than 1,200 pictures and a discrete amount of coffee to be animated. From Stonehand, I, I gained two big rewards, which are the first one. It was selected by a quite popular animation network called Anyboom for their YouTube channel. And the second one, but not less important, come on, try to guess. That's right. It was accepted at NIFTY 2011, the biggest film festival for young filmmakers, which also gave me the opportunity to fly over to Seattle and visit America for the first time in my life, which was really, really exciting. I had such a great time. I think the the thing I preferred about NIFTY 2011 was the opportunity I had to meet, to meet such a lar large range of different talented people. I mean, I'm not just talking about filmmakers. I had the opportunity to meet photographers, writers, producers, actors, musicians, dancers, and obviously many directors. Uh, such an inspiring experience is more unique than rare and I'm really proud I could be part of it. We, uh, and as we, I, I, I mean European young filmmakers, are sometimes a bit in intimidated by it, thinking that the US are probably unreachable, are probably too good for us. And so that's the reason why sometimes we hesitate about submitting films to American festivals because we think our creations are, might be not good enough. Uh, and that's a big mistake because European filmmakers, European cinema has much to tell and American festivals like NIFTY love hosting uh, international ideas. So that's an invitation I make to European filmmakers which can see this video. Don't be afraid of showing your work overseas 
participate to festivals in America and especially submit your works to Nifty because it's really, really worth it. Thank you very much for watching this interview and appreciating my animated short Stone Hand. And if you haven't watched it yet, watch it. Look for it on the internet. And uh, I'd like to thank, in particular, a person who like made it possible for me to go to Nifty 2011, which is Tara Zumpano. Thank you very much. And thank you to, for my family as well, because for their support and for being patient with me during the production of my animated shorts. Thank you very much.